the zonal commander. Other commanders, gentlemen of the press, it is my pleasure to welcome our media friends to this press briefing. I wish to also seize this opportunity to express our sincere appreciation to you all for your response at short notice. Your coverage of the activities of NDLEA these past few years has been pivotal to the concerted effort to keep our society safe from the scourge of illicit drugs. Once again, gentlemen of the press, welcome and thank you for being here for this briefing this morning. This briefing is in tune with our policy of transparency in our renewed fight against drug traffickers. As you all know, NDLEA maintains a regime of weekly reports via press statements that detail arrests, seizures, and other anti-drug abuse and trafficking activities. However, we occasionally call for special briefings such as this whenever there are major developments. The major development that warranted this special briefing today pertains to the seizure of what is now the single largest seizure of heroin in the history of NDLA in the Muta Mohammed International Airport. I will give a brief recap in chronological order of how we came about the seizure of 51.90 kilograms of this class A drug. It started on February 10th, 2024 when NDLEA operatives of the Muritala Mohammed International Airport Special Area Command intercepted a suspicious package at the Sarko import shed of the airport's cargo terminal. The consignment was concealed in 15 cartons of 2,300 watt metal cutting machines. Each carton was stocked with three blocks of high-grade heroin. In total, we recovered 45 blocks of the illicit substance with a total weight of 49.70 kilograms. After the discovery, we were methodical and meticulous in our investigations. We started with the arrest of the freight agent, whose name is Wasiu Babatunde. It turned out that he was hired for clearing service by MATP Logistics, a company operated by one Mr. Kola, resident in the Republic of South Africa. Next, we conducted a follow-up operation at the company's warehouse in the Shogunle area of Oshut, Lagos, and arrested the warehouse manager, whose name is Ajayi Moses. Thereafter, we set up an ambush for the expected receiver of the consignment, who was duly arrested 
when he showed up for collection. This receiver, whose name is Felix Chinedu, confessed during interrogation that he is the main distributor for a drug syndicate whose membership is spread across Nigeria. He admitted that he usually conveyed the consignment to a dedicated warehouse located in the Ipaja area of Lagos. That place served as a workshop where he would dismantle the consignment and remove the drugs from the machines. Thereafter, he would wait for a list of various recipients that would be sent to him from South Africa by the head of the criminal group. Our operatives did due diligence by conducting a thorough search of the warehouse, which led to the recovery of 56 similar cartons of the cotton machines that were used previously as modes of concealment to ferry heroin into Nigeria. Gentlemen of the press, at this point it was clear that we were dealing with a syndicate that operates in other countries. By the time we were done exploring various leads we had, we had unraveled an organized criminal network that operates in South Africa, Mozambique, Nigeria, parts of Europe and America. This syndicate has a wide network in Nigeria because the consignments we seized were marked with several code names showing that they belonged to different members of this organized criminal group. Furthermore, in our follow-up operation, we uncovered from the suspect a long list of receivers of illicit drugs. In the end, we were able to identify the kingpin of the syndicate here in Nigeria, whose name is Reginald Peter Chidiebere. Our investigations showed that he owned the Golden Platinum Hotel and Suits located at 16 Reginald Peter Chede Berry Street, Hope Estate, Ago Palace. The street is named after him. We conducted several days of surveillance on the hotel, which culminated in a raid operation on Monday, February 19th, 2024. The raid led to the arrest of another drug mule Chuku Emeka, thank God, was found in possession of two parcels of 2.2 kilograms of heroin with codes similar to the ones found on the seized drug shipment. He readily confessed that he was invited by Mr. Reginald Peter Chidie Berry to the hotel on Sunday, February 18th, 2024. He was lodged in one of the rooms and was later summoned by the receptionist to meet a guest from whom Reginald Peter Chide Berry had informed him earlier over the phone that he would be receiving a package. This sequence of action was confirmed on the CCTV, CCTV uh, footage in the hotel. Gentlemen of the press, this is a simplified version of the operation over nine days, leading to the arrest of 10 suspects and the seizure of a total of 51.90 kilograms of heroin. In the meantime, we have taken preemptive we have taken preemptive actions against the members of the syndicate. 
A total of 107 bank accounts associated with 14 members of this criminal syndicate have all been placed on PND status, post no debit status. All the sums of monies found in those accounts have also been frozen. In addition, the hotel and the mansion linked to the head of the syndicate in Nigeria, Reginald Peter Chidebere, and located in Agu Palace area have already been marked for feature to the federal government. This measure has also yielded further fruit as a female member of the syndicate and wife to one of the kingpins living outside the country was arrested on Thursday, 22nd February. She is confidence in the dear Maka, who is one of those earmarked to collect part of the consignment from Felix Ginedu. When they were brought face to face, he immediately identified her as one of the members of the criminal syndicate who had received similar packages of heroin with the syndicate's logo from him on two different occasions. Though she denied knowing him or receiving anything from him before, investigation later revealed how her husband identified as Ibewike Festus, who is a top kingpin and currently residing in Mozambique, used to send drug consignments to her through Felix Genedu. Pictorial evidence of different parcels with different codes and using other means of investigative techniques confirmed that she received instructions from her husband regarding illicit drug shipments already collected before. A further search was conducted in their residence located at the Agopalas area of Festec Town, where a Toyota Venza car was recovered, as well as several documents, including bank and property documents belonging to Festus Ibewike. I should bring attention to the fact that the NDLEA has shared comprehensive intelligence with our South African counterparts for necessary action regarding other members of this criminal group in that country. Gentlemen of the press, there is indeed a parallel between this seizure and the September 18, 2022 seizure of 2.1 tons of cocaine in an Ikurodu warehouse. That was the biggest singular cocaine seizure in the history of NDLEA. And the present bust is also the single largest of heroin seizure in the history of the NDLEA here, the airport. In our renewed fight against drug trafficking, our offensive action is specifically targeting drug barons to disrupt distribution networks and uproot the drug pipelines in the country. We have, to this end, arrested 48 barons in three years, 15 of whom are already serving jail sentences while the rest are facing trials in court. This should serve as a warning to others that there is no hiding place in Nigeria for anyone involved in the illicit drug trade. NDLEA is resolved to end the reign of drug parents and disconnect Nigeria from the global drug trafficking network. 
We have maintained a consistently strong performance every week. With this heroin bust, we are sending a warning again to drug traffickers within and outside the country that if they fail to desist from the illicit drug trade, if they fail to desist from the illicit drug trade, the long arm of the law will catch up with them. No question about that. Before I end this briefing, let me seize this opportunity to commend the synergy between the NDLEA and other law enforcement agencies, especially Nigeria Customs, Immigration, Armed Forces of Nigeria, the Police, NAFDAQ, NFIU, Road Safety Corps, and Aviation Securities. Aviation security. Our international partners and all of you in the media are also well appreciated because without this collaboration and cooperation, our work would have been more difficult. We would now screen a short video that will demonstrate the mechanics of how this particular bust was achieved, beginning from unpacking of the cartons under which those machines, you will notice how very carefully uh, those machines were compacted as if completely new and untouched. You'll see the efforts of our K-9 unit, which played a very critical role in showing that the contents of those machines had drugs in them. And after that, you would also um, view some of the, uh, will be shown and, uh, properly by the commander. Uh, before rising, <coughs> let me quickly commend the commander, officers, men and women of the MMIA Special Area Command for a job well done. They have continued to demonstrate professionalism and a keen sense of patriotism. And I urge them to keep it up. Well done. Um, because I have another engagement, we would not uh, obviously have an interactive session, which I would have loved to have, but unfortunately on this occasion, I would have to be on my way. But first, let's watch this video together. Thank you.